Hello and welcome back. So, uh, it's package day. <laughs> uh, this time, I got a package in from Den Brass. Um, and uh, I was kind of expecting it. Because um, he had uh, wanted to send me some of his locks. Um, and I told him I would send him some of mine. So, uh, uh, without further ado, let's see what he put in here. <laughs> uh, he does not... I. He used to have picking videos on his old channel, but uh, now I think he has a couple up of just some uh, package openings. But uh, either way, the link will be at the beginning at the video and at the end of the video, and I'll include his uh, YouTube channel link on uh, uh, in the description. But thank you before I even open this, Den uh, Brass. Uh, at any rate, um, let's see what, what he sent me. There we go, and let's see what we have here. All right, I'm just going to dump these out, save some time here. All right, since he probably sent me all challenge locks, this could be a long video. <laughs> but at any rate, let's see what we got here. Um, all right, well, oh great, I'm already seeing a crazy key. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, Snake Lock by Den Brass. Don't turn 180. Okay. Um, that is a Schleg. I'm guessing it's this one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it does kind of stick in the middle a little bit. Um, but wow, look at that key. That is a snake. <laughs> That's awesome, man. You and your keys. It's smooth though. I mean, it's that's for that key, man. That is smooth as hell. That's awesome, dude. Um, let's see here. Um, an M Tech uh, Tea Party by Den Brass. Wow, that's if that's a Tea Party and that's okay. Wow, great bidding too. Gosh, I swear. Um, and it's another like Schleg style QA, but it's an M Tech. So, but that is. Damn smooth for uh for T pins if that's got T pins in it. Wow, that's awesome. Wow. Great job on that, I'm sure. Um, let's see, a Russ one. Uh that's just den brass. Real smooth. Wow. Gosh. <laughs> and some crazy bidding there. My <laughs> gosh, his keys. All right. Um, wow, that's that's awesome. That's smooth, man. Um, and then we have a Trekmaster 30 pinned, uh, one of his, uh, this is kind of like that Uniglass, but it's not, I mean, it doesn't say Uniglass on it, so it's just a Schleg keyway, <laughs> great bidding on that too. Um, I always enjoy a Trekmaster 30, that's real smooth too, so, uh, always enjoy his locks, they're always a lot of fun, so he's making some awesome locks. Um, I've picked some Den Brass locks and let me tell you what they're good um wow that's a lorry um this lorry's <laughs> seen some life um no key with this one so i'm guessing it might be a stock lock or just a sleeper lock um we'll have to get into that one and figure it out um looks like we have a schleg kick and um yeah pretty good bidding on that too i mean you know, just a couple highs and lows. No, uh, two keys with it and no tag. So I'm guessing that might be a stock one for me to turn into a, a challenge lock. Uh, and then it looks like we have a Texas Gym, uh, key and knob here. That's an interesting key and knob, though. I think I've, huh. That's weird. It's almost like it's, uh, out of a deadbolt. Um, and it is a Yale. Um, Yale style keyway. That's a like a Y1, I think. Stick on there. Yep, it's a Y1. Okay, for Yale locks. So, um, another Texas gem, <laughs> uh, and it's real smooth as well. So, and then what do we got here? A US lock. All right, uh, Den Brass Easy. Okay, what's his Easy key? Ooh. Wow, doesn't like to go left. <laughs> doesn't like to go counterclockwise, I can tell you that. Um, that's 
pretty easy bidding. So yeah, I can see why you might call that easy, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm weary of anything that says it's easy. So sheesh. Um, but at any rate, let's um, put one of these in the vise. Uh, you know, this, this snake has got me. That is awesome. Snake lock. Man, that's some bidding though. But that is an awesome, awesome key. Um, let's uh, let's put this in a vise and see if I can get it open. Um, probably, probably a mistake. I probably shouldn't pick this lock, but uh, out of the package. But I haven't failed in a little while, so let's give this one a shot and see what happens. Ah, uh, all right. Um, thank you, Den, for these awesome, uh, awesome locks here. We got a bunch of challenge locks and I think a couple uh, stock locks. So man, I appreciate it. So if this goes south, um, thank you guys for watching and don't break the law. But uh, at any rate, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's hope it doesn't go south. Um, let's see. Sh leg. Should be able to use my 50 thousandths. Let's see. Yep. Okay. I like my... Uh, uh, trusty old trusty pick I've been using, but I'm afraid with this bidding that I'm gonna need something deeper. Um, you know, I'm gonna start with with my old trusty and see what we get with it. Um, if I have to switch picks, I will. Um, I like starting with this one. I like the feedback. Um, let's just go ahead and start out here. Um, come on, focus. Go. Um, schleg, I always kind of pick off this side over here, and we'll just go in light tension and search for a binder. Um, hmm. a little heavier tension. Two. Okay, I got to click out of him. One is binding, I got to click out of him. Go back. Okay, got another click off of one. Okay, now I think I'm, oh, hold on. I got a click off of four, I think. I'm assuming this is a five pinner. The size of the cylinder, but I think I just overset. I'm gonna back off just a little bit here. There it is. It's all the way back on five, but I can't get to it. Um, let's go for that deeper pick. Uh, you know what I want to try? I want to try the pick that Apache Oxport sent me. It is this one. Um, it's a really deep pick, and it's also very thin, so I might be able to work from the bottom. And a schleg, and I can. Okay, what was that? Four or five? That was giving me, yep, five, giving me rotation. Okay, I got a little bit of rotation on it too, but it was giving me uh, feedback. Still nothing deep yet. Okay, hold on. Still getting five. A couple more clicks out of him. Check. One, two. Hmm. Couple clicks out of oh, there we go. There was a click out of four. Gave me a good deep false set there. Okay, a little bit more on one and two. Nope. Oh. I dropped my tension wrench, and I'm not going to go dig for it. So we're just going to go with uh, a forty thousandths. It should work. Oh, there it was. On uh, four, I think. Okay. Whew. Okay. As soon as I dropped that tension wrench, I knew this sucker was going to open. <laughs> yeah, that flying tension wrench syndrome happens to me every time, but I know I'm close as soon as that happens. All right. Um, let's see here. 
Uh, I think it happened to me yesterday on the lock I was doing. That's why I said that. But anyway, it is, it is picked. Um, he said, do not turn it 180. So we are not going to turn it 180. It doesn't like, look like it has a um, um, thing in the back of this. So that's interesting. Um, at any rate, sorry, let's go ahead and get the pinning tray out and see what Den Brass put in this. Let's see. Should be able to use this follower. Schlegs, yeah, it's a Schleg, so should be okay. Um, I do have the key, so if I lock it back up, it's not the end of the world, but I don't like doing that. So, let's see if I can get into this. <clears throat> On there tight. He didn't have a uh, spring and a uh, follow a thing in the back, so I was kind of surprised that that didn't lock up a little bit worse than it was. Um, at any rate, let's uh, shim this because I guarantee you there's uh, some crazy in here, being a Den Brass lock. Um, yeah, I can't even get a shim in there very well. Okay, I think we're good with that. Follower and pins are towards me, and there we go. Awesome. Okay, and I was right, it is a five pinner, and I'm already seeing crazy. It looks like two and four are uh, T pin key pins, but we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look, see if I can get this key to go in right side up. There we go. Yep, yep, that's why it was so smooth. It is perfect. Um, wow, look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. And it looks like, yeah, um, all of them were below the shear line pretty good, so that's good. All right, let's um, get a good look at these pins. I'm just going to dump them and then go over them uh, because I know how long my package videos tend to get. And I want to make sure I do a good job of going over these pins. Here. That is such a sharp serration. I want to make sure it's not a pin in pin. Oh, pin in pin. Just a really sharp serration. Okay. Um, let's see. Looks like all five chambers are threaded. Nice sharp threads in those. There we go. You can see that. Nice, very nice sharp threads in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. So, um, really good looking threads. Let's see what the magic is upstairs. Get my shim out of the way. Let's see here. In one, we have. Upside down key pin, but it's a T pin, very serrated. A proper spring, just poking over the shear line. Come out. There we go. In two, we have a very good looking spool. I saw the way he came out. Well, I guess it didn't matter. He's an upside down key pin, so it was. Pretty obvious the way he came out. Get that other spring out. He doesn't want to come out yet. I'll, I'll wait and get the springs out at one time. Um, we have another T pin. We have another spool. And then five. He popped out fast on me, but I saw the way he came out. We have a very serrated T pin. Wow, great looking pins, man. Um, yeah, we're gonna dig these out one at a time, just to be safe. Okay, that was two. We get five out. Four. And three. It looks like they were all copper springs. Kind of a little bit. The last one was a little, little uh, 
looser wound. I'm not seeing any kind of crazy in the Bible. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Smooth and smooth. Yeah, nothing done upstairs, but wow. <laughs> awesome looking pins and awesome looking bidding. So didn't have to do much. Plus you had uh, all the threading in the uh, core. So at any rate, let's do a close up of this. There we go. Beautifully serrated uh, key pin in one. An awesome looking key pin uh, or T pin uh, serrated in... Um, uh, one for the driver and two we had a t-pin key pin which is also serrated beautiful beautiful pin uh, then we have what looks like a valve out of a car um, <laughs> the driver of two it's a nice looking serrated spool um, and then we have a uh, very serrated uh, key pin in uh, three and a very short t-pin in uh, the driver with copper spring we have a T-pin serrated uh, key pin and a nice serrated spool there. Uh, in, uh, that was four driver. In five, we have a very a nice looking serrated uh, one serration uh, key pin and a very, very good looking uh, serrated, almost a double spool, one serration in the middle with a serrated or uh, with a T-pin. Awesome, awesome pin. Um, thank you, Den Brass, for all these locks. Um, thank you so much for, uh, this lock, obviously, but thank you for the locks. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time and, uh, don't break the law.